Hey guys, it's Drac, and I'm doing an unboxing of the pass, as it's known in the NIC, or the pump shot gun, and then that I guess is the Spanish. It's a foam shooters. It's the same people that make the Doomsayers gun. This thing has a ton of potential. I'm doing it as a review of its ball shooting ability in its stock form. I think it's a really cool blaster. For those of you that might be wondering, A, why I'm not in my regular studio, and B, why this is with a different camera, I have reasons for both. My university seems to think it's funny to just put me through all this bureaucracy to get registered for classes and get all the things I need. So I'm at my new apartment trying to get moved in. I still want to make videos for you guys, but it's tough because I'm dealing with all this crap for my college and it's just tricky to get everything done. And frankly, when it comes down to it, if it's like register for classes or make a new video, I have to register for classes. So I'm still making Nerf videos. I'm still trying to get them out as often as I can. But if I'm a little slow this week and my commissions take a little bit of a dip, that's why. I'm halfway through the long mav that I'm making for another HVZ. -er. It's basically done. It just needs the detailing and a laser pointer integration. I need to contact him about that. And then I have a night mav that I'm working on for a viewer. And that is almost put together, but it's taking a little while. I don't know. It's just it's tough getting all these videos out. This is a pretty easy video to make because all I have to do is unbox this and tell you what I think of it. A few of you have probably already seen these. At Wars, they look a lot different because people coupler them with either CPVC or PETG or PVC. It's got a good feel to the pump, easy prime, and a lot of power you can hear the only problem is this trigger is pretty awful and that's what a lot of people replace so when I mod it I'll get into that in a bigger way for now I'm gonna get the balls out and I'm not sure if I load them all at once or one at a time it looks like all three of them fit in there and it's got a spring powered thing that pushes them forward it looks goofy and it's definitely going to need a paint job because when I take this off to make it shoot Nerf darts, it'll look like a gun and that just doesn't work on a college campus. Anyway, I've primed it. Looks like it shoots the balls 25 feet flat with a bit of an angle. We're getting 30. It's got a lot of power. You can just tell. It's a lot of fun to use. It's like the reactor, but with a trigger, it's shooting the balls farther than the reactor and it's a ton of fun. That's my review of the pass by, I couldn't tell you who makes this, but thanks for watching.